is 30 years old, it has a harsh ride, it only has four cylinders, which makes less power than most modern minivans. It has a terrible radio, you have to change gears manually, and it doesn't even have an airbag. My dream car is the BMW E30 M3. Ever since sophomore year of high school, I've been really into cars, and being in the car enthusiast community, you always hear about the BMW M3. They, everyone always talks about how great of a driver's car it is, how, how great it handles, and it's just an overall great car. So one, yeah, one M3 in particular is, is regarded as the best. It's the E30 generation, which you see here. And I, I watched a YouTube video on it one day, and um, the way they described the car <coughs> really captivated me, and I wanted one for myself. They talked about the history behind it and how, how fun it is to drive, and it's just a really great car. So since then, I've wanted one, and I've learned everything there is to know about it. I don't have one yet, but I hope to in the, in the future. Being an old car, it has its flaws, but it has a huge following. It, ha it, ha it has a cult following, and they regard it as a masterpiece of German engineering. So today, I'll explain the history why it's loved, and why it should be your favorite car today. Um, BMW's most popular car is the 3 Series. It's an executive compact car, which spans six generations. The E30 is the second generation on the left, and preceding it is the E21 generation, and then after the E30 is the E36, E46, E90, and then the F30. The M3 is basically a 3 Series that's, that's um, improved by making it more track focused. That, that means it's better on track, it's faster, it's just, it has improved handling and, and everything. Uh, the M means it's designed by M, which is a subsidiary of BMW, which was made to assist their successful racing program. So its fascinating history is one of the main reasons that I love this car. So, so that's why I'll delve into it. And I can't explain it thoroughly due to time constraints, but I'll explain the major interesting points that, that I love. So where do I start? Well, why was it made in the first place? This was the reason it was made. It's the Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.316. It was made by Mercedes in the 80s due to Jimmy Carter's um, Fuel, fuel efficiency standards. So Mercedes had to create a car that was more fuel efficient and more lightweight, but they also needed to make it fast so that people would take them seriously. So they designed this car to win the World Rally Championship, and it did. <coughs> it was a very successful car and it won many races, but BMW, not, which, who is not one to be bested, decided to to design a car specifically to beat this Mercedes, and that's the E30 M3. So they took all the best resources, all their best engineers, and they made the best touring car the world has ever seen. It's powered by the legendary S14 engine, which is an 2.3 liter inline four, which makes up to 238 horsepower and 170 pound-feet of torque, depending on the specification. <coughs> so it's not that much by today's standards, even back then, it wasn't that much. But it's the, di it's the dynamics of the engine and its character that really make it special. According to BMWblog.com, the engine block design was taken directly from one of their Formula One race cars, and the cylinders <coughs> were taken from the BMW's M1 supercar. Top Gear says that, it's, that the engine is extremely smooth, it revs quickly, and it sounds very good, and I agree. So, just as remarkable as the engine is the dynamics of the car. Jalopnik.com explains a chassis as the car's frame, its steering, its suspension, and basically anything else that handles the, the, that affects the handling of the car. So, the E30's chassis is known as one of the best of all time. To put into perspective of how great it, how great it is, Motor Trend TV pitted the E30 325i, not the M3, against a modern, brand new BMW 340i. So the new car has double the horsepower, 
but the E3325i was able to be within a second of it on the streets on the trees of Willow racetrack. So it's not an, even an M3, it was a standard E30, but it was able to, to be within a second of it on the racetrack. So it didn't do this with power, obviously. It was, it was with its chassis. And the M3 was improved on this great chassis in every possible way from the standard E30. The BMW registry says that the windows were glued to the frame to make the chassis stiffer. Um, it had special strings, anti-roll bars, and everything was improved from the standard car to make the M3 faster. The bot most of the body panels were different from the standard E30 to create more downforce and to be more aerodynamic. Formula1.com explains downforce as the force pushing down in a car that's created by air flowing over the car. So at high speeds, there's more force, which gives the car traction. And then with more traction, you're allowed to go around corners quicker, which results in a faster time around the track. Many modern cars have <coughs> fancy body panels and, and little wings. But these are mostly aesthetic, while the M3 was all was purposefully designed and carefully designed to be as fast as possible. So did it make a difference? Of course. Uh, translated, this says, we congratulate all of our BMW drivers. BMW M3, winner of the Touring Car Championships, 1987, 88, 89. So it did beat the Mercedes. And according to roadandtrack.com, we won over 1,500 touring car races won the British, Australian, European, and World Touring Car Championships. In total, um, it won 18 prestigious Group A Touring Car Championships. So it has a prestigious ped pedigree, and that's one of the main reasons that I love this car so much. So all in all, it's fun to drive as a prestigious, prestigious pedigree, has a fascinating history, and it's basically the pinnacle of German engineering. So even though its value is skyrocketing, I still want one for myself. It's, it's my favorite car because it's basically a race car that was made road legal. So, so that's why I want one, and I hope you want a race car of your own.